This is gonna be one of those segments that's very near and dear to my heart. Oh man. <laughs> it's that song from 2K, ain't it? Uh-uh. That song from J O N. It might be though. No, but it's on the 2K. Is it on 2K? It's on 2K a couple years back. Huh? Uh-uh, this is original. You just uh, high, bro. You've uh, been smoking too much of your own the weed. Part, some of this, it's a song that's on 2K that sounds eerily when you creating similar the player, to this. Like, <laughs> Um, it was two years ago, 2K. I kid you not. Oh. I check a funny. Who knows? I'm an avid 2K or something. Oh, okay, bet. Got my shit in here today. Yeah, this shit, this some good weed right here. Cool. Appreciate it. It better be. Yeah, I can fuck with that. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Top shelf. This ain't that bullshit right here. Groovy. Hey, man. I like that. I like that. I'm almost high enough to start the show. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready for Hey, that. welcome back to the 85 South Show. Black Excellence Spotlight. Off the top, I gotta tell you, you got one of the coldest names, aliases in the game. <laughs> Tucky Blunt. <laughs> yeah. Tucky Blunt. Yeah, my last name is really Blunt. And my nickname is Tucky. Since I came out my mama's Tucky. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Welcome to the trap. Man, I'm honored to be here. Thank you for having me. And, and then, this is going to be a high-ass episode. Yeah, you have to do most of the talking because I'm over here. I have no problem with On that. some of this Simply Green. Hey, hey. You know, from a black-owned dispensary. Yeah. That you own. Yes. You got your face on the weed. Mm -hmm. Tell me your story, man. How did how did all this come about? Ooh, um, we was never bad in my family. Like we never thought we. Are was, we related? I don't know, but we should be. We should be. <laughs> we probably are. Um, granny grew it. Parents sold it. Like my dad used to sell five joints for a dollar. So like you know it was. I it, wish I knew him. Man, <laughs> yeah, they loved him in high school. But uh, <laughs> age sixteen, I started selling weed in East Oakland, California, and um, I approached it as a business. I knew that if I wanted to sell weed, which I did, I couldn't be on the corner advertising it because I'm gonna go to jail. So I was like, I watched my dad and how he moved and I, he taught me other things, taught me how to detail cars. I'm a master detailer, all kind of shit, but I knew how he sold weed. And I was like, if I'm gonna not go to jail, I'm not gonna go to the turf, but I can do it. So I started working around the same age, 15, 16. Every job I worked at, everybody I knew there smoked weed. So I was able to make more money at work than I did at work. And um, I just continued on that path. And then around 19, heard about cannabis clubs. Um, my grandmother, who grew weed, had me, I was taking on her errands, 19th and Telegraph in Oakland. We pulled up, she come out with a white bag. I'm like, Granny, what's that? She said, it's weed. I said, you bought weed out of a store? She said, yeah. I said, um, I want one of those. And that was 99, that's my granny right here. I was like, I want one of those. Didn't think none of that shit would happen. Fast forward, 2004, I had my first run in with police ever. I've been selling weed nonstop, perfectly fine. Pull up, we smoke some of the weed that you just bought. Nice transaction, I go about my business. No police interaction. 2004, I had a son coming. I was in between jobs and I said, oh, let me go to the turf for a little bit, make some extra money. I did that, got snitched on uh, by one of the people I was buying weed from. Caught a case, they gave me 10 years felony probation, four way search clause. Um, and at the time, again, first offense, and I only had at the time, thank you, Thank you, Alway. I didn't have more on me, but I only had $80 worth of weed on me at the time and like two dozen of them cookies I was just telling you about. So, didn't let that stop nothing. Hold um, on, 10 years ahead. for $80 worth of yep. weed? 10 years of felony probation. They could pull me over and search anybody in the car with me and everybody, everything, house, whatever, for 10 years straight. Like, I didn't really be, feel comfortable going around nobody or nothing. Um, but I didn't let it stop me. Um, the day that I got arrested was a Thursday. The following Monday, I started working for Alameda County. And 
the day, my first day of work at lunch, I'm walking downstairs and the cop who arrested me is coming upstairs. So I'm like, bro, I told you I had a job. He just, you know, we always clicked on that. I was like, damn, all right, cool. Fast forward 2017, Mike Marshall called me and told me about the equity program. Um, didn't know what it was. Mike Marshall is the voice of I Got Five on it. The, I had the actor when I was actually singing it. And um, he said, Tuck, you ever caught a case for weed in Oakland? I'm like, yeah, that's hella random, but why? He was like, man, they got a program called the Social Equity Program. I know two sisters out of Atlanta. They need somebody to fit the bill to apply for the program to get the dispensary license. And I'm like, all right, whatever, what they want for me? Um, he was like, I don't want nothing. I just want to have a sit down and see if you fit the criteria. I said, all right, fuck it. At the time, I was a master detailer for Tesla. I was training people how to detail cars for Tesla. Um, a position I created that they found me on LinkedIn, and then I went and made my position. Bro, hold up. God uh -huh. damn, bro, hold up. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't, I don't just sell weed. We're celebrating black highlights. Man, on so, man, I, man, straight up, I don't know nothing to do but hustle. So how did you talk them into creating this position? Because Tesla's a huge company. So they hit me on LinkedIn, and the guy was just like, hey, we see you detail cars. Um, would you like to come train people how to detail cars at Tesla? So I hit them back thinking it was a scam. I'm like, whatever, and I just kind of ignored it for like three weeks. Dude hit me back. So I'm like, you know, is this legit? What do you want me to do exactly? He was like, well, we're trying to teach people how to detail Teslas, and we've seen your work. You know, so I was really one of the most sought after detailers in the Bay Area for about 15 years. So I was like, all right, whatever. I went in, and they was like, we don't really have a position. Can you create one? Yes. So I created, I think I was making like 85000 a year to teach people how to detail 85, cars. 85000 Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then while I'm Fuck doing that, you. That was it, was, it was going cool. That's when Mike called me. Um, I went and met with the sister and her mom, with my baby daughter, and um, we talked. They told me about the program. I was like, all right, it's cool. Oakland has a program called the Social Equity Program. I do not want to skip over this. But it's the first um, city in the nation that started a program to give people who call cannabis cases and charges chances at ownership in the cannabis space. So that got me interested. I'm like, I've always wanted to own a store. I've worked at Hella Cannabis Clubs. I've been growing weed since 2002. I've been selling this since 96. Like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. We yeah, a lot invested in weed. Yeah, a lot. You know what I'm saying? So met them in September 17. We turned in the application December of 17. The drawing was January 31st of 18, and the drawing was you took a bingo ball. It was 34 bingo balls for all the people applications that made it through. You put a bingo ball in the chamber, they roll it around. If they picked your ball, you lost. If you was one of the last four balls remaining in the chamber, you won a dispensary license. I put our ball in third, and we were still in there as one of the remaining four. That is random as hell. Very random. It was Yahweh. It was it was meant for me to be doing this. Like, hell yeah, but I'm like, who was the petty motherfucker? Like, all right. Yeah, that, let's do a bingo. We're gonna do bingo balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, we, didn't, we didn't understand it either, but it made it fair. Nobody could pay their way to the front. Oh, that's, it that was just, sense. you know what I'm saying? It was literally like a, it was meant for me to be doing what I'm doing. So we got the license, but that was it. They didn't give you no money. You had to go find your own money, find your own building, do all of that. And with us being black, equity qualified, most of us don't have the business savvy to know how to go and find the right people to partner with to open a dispensary. So we get fucked over a lot. Excuse my French, but it's just, no, you, you can know, speak it's French the, on this it's, it's the truth. You know what I mean? So. Luckily for me and my previous partner, we had some business savvy. I've run successful businesses on my own, you know what I mean? All the stuff I work, I type 90 words a minute. I graduated high school with a 4.0, like I'm a street nerd, you know what I mean? So, and I don't like jail. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna do whatever I'm doing, I got to be off the radar because I don't like penis. So I'm not gonna be nowhere where I gotta look at penis all day. So that was just, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? That's just, that sounds like I'm, a nightmare. I'm cool. So we got the license. Found a partner, they wanted ownership. We're like, no, we're not giving y'all no ownership. We created a deal to where they were happy, we were happy, they didn't own anything, and we started pumping out, and we opened our doors November 24th of 2018. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a hell of a story, man. You mm -hmm. had, you called the case. Mm -hmm. Now you're selling weed. Yeah. And it's legit, man. It's legit. Is yeah. this, what's this, this your strand right here? That is one of them. One of them. How many you, you got? So I have that one now. I have another one. I'm gonna do smalls. Oh, you getting exclusive? Yeah, you basically told me that this was kind of like old nigga weed. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm tired of all the weird names it's too and all the, 
all the everything is not exotic i hate that term no offense to none of my homeboys that still use it but i come from an era where weed only had to be three things smoke good taste good and get you high all this old candy land advertising the kids and all that and i don't do that i just want simply good green weed so that's where that came from and this shit good it's good Man. it's so good i'm gonna tuck this one because i don't want nobody <laughs> fucking with it <laughs> you feel me Man, so that's Very me kind of like in a nutshell. Aside from being a good daddy, a good husband, a good black man, like I want all of us to win. Bro, what's been your experience in the cannabis industry since you've gone legit and now you're a business owner and you, it's they, been good. they picked your bingo ball? Nigga, you're winning in life. It's been good. It's been, honestly and truthfully, I can just be real. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't know that me getting a dispensary, being the first ex-felon for selling weed to have a dispensary anywhere in the world, I didn't sign up for that. And I didn't sign up for having to be the face of it, but it's something I have to do because we got to show that we can succeed in this space. Bro, your name is Tucky Blunt. Yeah, so it's kind of my destiny, I guess, huh? I mean, yeah, yeah. They so, can write a script better than that. No, I'm, I'm trying to work on one. If you know anybody, I'm, I'm, I, know I, me. I know how to act. I mean, you know. I know me. I the act. story already written. So it's a nigga selling weed since he was too young to even be selling weed in a place where didn't nobody really give a fuck until one day somebody gave a fuck. He was just doing his normal shit, yep. and then out of nowhere, he was on his last run. Last little $80. Only reason he still had it, because the nigga didn't answer the phone. Here yep. come the bitch-ass police. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much what happened. 10 years, still got to sell the weed, some kind of way, yep. for 10 years. But you can't touch it. Can't keep it at home. Can't be around the wrong motherfuckers. And then you know all these people and they know you legit and you out here still grinding. Got a job at fucking Tesla. Now you got to make this decision. Do I work at Tesla or do I hit these streets with this weed legally because I haven't worn this shit? That's about five episodes. Yeah, Might be too big for the screen. Hey, um, and it's, it's a legit, it's real. Like, I I'm know. Not, you know? We get, some, get one of them young, young niggas to play you, like Mac Wiles or somebody. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm with it. <laughs> I with it. Fuck around and find one of them British niggas or something. <laughs> Boy, I don't be even knowing them niggas British until they get on the view. And then we start over. And like, oh. You don't even realize they it have access. It was another time that I was studying in France. And I'm like, man, damn. That's dope as fuck, man. man. Well, drop the info so these people can, so they can smoke simply green like me. Yes, um, we are located 701 66th Avenue in Oakland, California. Oakland, Di California. Literally, directly across the street from the Oakland Coliseum. Um, we just reopened because we had shut down due to COVID and my shady ex partner. Um, but we just reopened 420. Please come through. Um, the vibe is epic. Um, we always have good food trucks there, DJs. And it's just a, a Oakland vibe. Um, I'm on Instagram if you do that, Tucky Blunt A Zero. Blunt some more is the store. And tell me a little bit about Blunt some more. You touched on it, but you ain't touched it all the way. Man, it's when Slink Johnson came there, my boy Gerald, he came in and said, This ain't owned by Negroes. I'm hey, like, when Slink, anytime <laughs> Slink is mentioned, you gotta say, Niggas know your mom. Oh, yeah, niggas know your mom. Bro, I got he some good that yes, in he the did. trap. Oh, yeah. I was talking to him when I remember all that because we were texting each other. I'm like, Niggas, I said, You you got well with that, but that, that was a good one. That was a good one. So when he came in and, and like, you know, was like, Bro, this, 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 this ain't black on. I love that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like kind of like a weed eye store. I mean, it's, it's very neat. It's very clean. Um, you're going to see a bunch of orange because orange makes people happy. That's where the colors came from. Um, and it's black owned. And I want more Blunts and Moors. Everywhere that have legal cannabis, they should have an equity program. And there should be an ex felon with a dispensary. I know, because who, who better? Who, who knows more about a motherfucker who really was out there with it? Facts. And if that they don't. That should be one of the qualifications of having one. You don't have a felon? I'm sorry. <laughs> Facts. If I you mean, ain't never been convicted of no weed charge. They shouldn't even really fuck with you like that. Facts. And we got people that's making the laws that have never done anything either. So that's what they I'm They ain't about that life. They not. They still think we make niggas want to go crazy. No, you're not going crazy. You're I'm chilling. Fine. Even man. if the option was to go crazy, I'd be I'm like, y'all go. Yeah, y'all have fun with that. <laughs> go uh -uh. ahead, nigga. Do your thing. Do your what? thing. Go stupid. I'm chilling. Nah. -uh. I ain't even outside today. 
that's one some more, bro. Like for real, I'm just I'm just living my dream, but I think it's other people should have that that had that dream that should live that too. You know what? Just by you living your dream, it's helping me live mine. Cause I was like, I hope somebody bring me some weed. <laughs> I couldn't come and empty handed. When, when I try to manifest these things, I'm not specific as to who. I'm yeah. not saying, hey, God, <laughs> let somebody be out here taking a chance for me. <laughs> Maybe they could just bring me just some good, simp just simply some, some weed. Simple. Man, that's Look it. at that shit. It's written. Plain it was, it was as written. day. It was and written. then it's the old nigga flavor, too. It ain't nothing hyperbole about it. Nah. <laughs> There's no animation. It's just simply green. No cap. And the and weed the ain't green, which is, is crazy. Beautiful. This it's, shit is purple. It's purple and a muff. Fluffy and kind of reminds you me of in the morning in Aspen. That was Very it. relaxing. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Nice hybrid. Of, yes, it is. Indica, so. indica heavy. Indica heavy. Mm -hmm. So this is really going to be some sleepy weed. Yeah. And I shouldn't smoke all of it. Yes, you should. Because you I got right. shit to do. I was told that you won't get high, so I'm going to get you high, Craig. Well, you know, hey man, <laughs> I appreciate you stopping through here. With, I appreciate you having with with this delicious weed Thank that you. I will not be sharing with anybody <laughs> under thirty five. <laughs> you gotta be thirty five enough to smoke this. That's what you should put on here <laughs> for thirty five plus. Come on, yeah, because they ain't gonna appreciate it. Yeah, they, they. Do you remember you some of the weed that we had back in the day that's extinct now? Purple. You can't find real purple. Show me some. <laughs> Now see, that's the reason you here right now, Tucky Blunt. I feel like you gotta say the whole shit, Tucky Blunt. <laughs> you ever miss the detailing game? Or you ever just get high and detail your shit? Man, so... Cause I you do... sounded real successful. You got your own shoes on and shit. Bro, I was raw as fuck as a detailer. And I'm talking about clean vents, like all the shit. Like, Talk I'm... your shit. That's just... what this is for. Oh, I thought we was done. No, I thought we girl, was just we, talking. We, oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, shit. No, nah, detailing is like second nature. My dad, I did buff my first car. I was eight. My daddy had a detail shop, so I learned from. Like I said, he was a hustler too. My daddy worked two, three jobs. Fucking taught me how to detail, so hell of weed. But then he started doing cracking. Fucked off his shit for a few years. Moms went through the same thing. We were in shelters, all the shit. Like I done did hella shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. for me to be where I am now. It's just a testament to not giving up on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just closed. My store just closed because my ex-partner stole fucking four hundred something thousand dollars and stopped paying bills and left and went and opened a whole nother store, dog. I wasn't supposed to reopen. I was not supposed to re I was, Who are you going to find going to want to partner with you when you got 2.5 in debt? But Yahweh had a bigger plan for me. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for everybody else, for my kids, 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 kids. I'm trying to set them up. The stuff that I'm doing now, I'm not even gonna see the, all the ramifications of it. I see the people that say I'm inspirational, all of that, I'm gonna get that. But what I'm trying to set and put in stone is gonna be something my kids, kids, kids see. You feel me? So yeah. it's bigger than, this is why I come on my own dime to come network with people like this, because this is what we gotta do. We gotta get back to working together. We gotta deprogram that all black people is enemies type shit. We gotta pool our money together and work together. I know, cause I should have been buying this weed from you. <laughs> we should have been pooling our money together and been getting this kind of weed. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. My legs is high. <laughs> you know you high when your legs high too. <laughs> Tucky God, Blunt, damn, man, drop that. Gosh. Drop your social one more time, man. At Tucky Blunt eight zero at blunts and more with two o's and what's so funny that's my partner's ex-partner's last name and she ain't got nothing to do with nothing anymore <laughs> that's fucked up man but look you gonna bounce back oh i'm already bounced back i'm oh. gucci for real i'm no we i'm open fully partnership i got my trademark for blunts and more in 35 states so i can open up locations right now you should be so that's what i'm that's why i'm here now to when atlanta go legal i want to blunt some more down here yeah you better call me first I'm telling you now. I'm letting you know. So, like, no, it's, 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 get you, this is what we you, gonna do. You serious? No, this, this real, real, real. I get just with want, your lobbyists down here. I just want to be, I want to invest in this brand right here. All right, say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. You gotta put that bitch by Walmart. He said. Something about the town? Oh, man. It's the land of the side shows. You gotta bring some of them old schools out there. No, nah, they just made a law that you can't even really do that shit. 
What side shows? Yeah. We work on the legal side show right now. Oh, but uh, that's some a whole different thing. Though. Something about the town. Um, Two Shirt got his weed out my store now, so he has a line of weed that's pretty good. Yeah, mm-hmm. shout out to Sh- yep. Two Shirt. Yep, he got that at the store right now. Um, I don't know, Oakland just, I want Oakland to get back to where it used to be. Um, it's still a beautiful place, but thieving and just effort and took over. So I wanted to get back to where, like, when my vibe, when I grew up, me and Los, we in the same age bracket. So I don't know, I just want Oakland to get back to how it used to be, Yeah. where everybody was family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. <clears throat> if you see this shit anywhere, get you some. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a high ass episode. Yeah. My man Tucky Blunt. Yeah. Blunt some more. 85 South Show. Black Excellence. What more could you ask for? My guy. Man, My man, man's I in there. Appreciate you, bud. This shit right here. Okay.